Author Ben Judah wrote an article for Unheard about the future of the British monarchy following the death of what he called the last revered European monarch. While the public have come out in their thousands up and down the nation to pay their respect to the late monarch, it has not been without the hiccups of protesters. Some have held signs saying not my king while others have heckled Prince Andrew as he walked by as part of the procession. While it was clear that the passing of the crown would be a time where those opposed to the monarchy would speak up, it is also a time where people are recognizing the end of an era. According to Mr. Judah, there was something different about Elizabeth II. Millions treated her with a hint of the divine right of kings, a woman who lived above interviews, who loomed over her own society mysteriously. He added, this is the end of that story. In the days following the Queen's death, debates reignited from Commonwealth countries of which King Charles is now head of state, about becoming republics. Adam Bent, leader of Australia's Greens party mourned the passing of Her Majesty but suggested that Australians move forward by cutting ties with the monarchy. Following multiple protests from areas in the Caribbean following recent royal tours over the continuation of colonial messages, the glamorous and historical haze of the British monarchy has been cracking. Queen Elizabeth symbolized a different era, image, Getty, there was something different about Queen Elizabeth II, image, Getty, one gets a sense that much of the traditions which have continued have been out of respect for Her Majesty who has seen 15 Prime Ministers and spoke to the nation's children during the Second World War as a child herself. A London black cab driver spoke to reporters while the iconic taxis lined the mall following the news of her passing to express the strong sentiments felt across the UK about what the Queen symbolised. Speaking to ITV News the taxi explained the unusual but heartwarming tribute, it's for the Queen, we did it for Prince Philip as well when he passed. The driver began to cry as he looked towards Buckingham Palace and covered his mouth with his hand before adding, she's the only constant we've all had in our lives. Read more, GB News discussed the Queen's final journey to Westminster The Queen's passing marked the end of an era, image, Getty, the last revered European monarch, image, Getty, I just want to show my respects. Mr. Judah wrote. Queen Elizabeth's death marks the latest step away from divinely ordained monarchy, towards something else. There have been tears for the Queen this week, but can we imagine the same for Prince William decades from now? Looking at him, I can't shake the feeling he is just a West Londoner. Not a unicorn on his crest. Don't miss, spectacular advance by Ukraine sparks interesting shift in Moscow, Insight Andrew sports military medals but no uniform in Queen's procession, reveal man, 38, charged for holding eggs near Queen's coffin, Insight, the heirs to the throne will have a challenge to match up to the Queen, image, Getty, trending according to the writer, the Queen was believable because she believed. He continued, the last European monarch to believe her role was a divine calling. Speaking of the new king, he wrote, by trying to be the king of, every craft, every field, every hedgerow, the voice of the planet, he is trying to channel that one thing we all still treasure. Our ailing world. It is actually a question about us, whether he succeeds in making us believe.